This is the Econ H8. This is me from the future saying I'm an idiot, and this is actually the H9, but it does work on any of the 4K cameras that you buy in the $30 to $50 range. Uh, for the record, the H9 is actually a 1080 camera that interpolates to that 4K. But the video is good. Um, I, I like the video, actually. And uh, the sound is crap, but we're about to make it better, which is what I'm recording on right now. So this is my after <laughs> demo. All right. Um, as we all know, the sound on this is abysmal. <laughs> it's the nicest word I can use for it. So we're going to disassemble this. Tell, show you why with the small microphone, put a better microphone in, and hopefully we will solve the problem, or at least make it a little bit better. Uh, I break an onion rings. Cool. So first off, you can egg shape. You will need an electric microphone. You can actually buy 10 of these for about $2, or if you're good, you can scavenge them from almost anything with the little microphone on the inside. Uh, the good part about these, there's only a positive and negative terminal um, on the back, so there are only positive and negative wires. The negative has three little prongs sticking out, and they touch the base. The positive is the other one. They require very little power, so um, yeah, they're very easy to put in places that you want to have a tiny microphone, uh, good or bad reasons. Anyway, to take this apart, first off, you want to take the battery out. Forgot. Battery compartment comes out. And it's broken already. Alright, battery out. Pull the battery. One battery gone. One broken compartment. Alright. So, yeah, you just pry. Normally start at a corner. Forgot to mention. Uh, start at a corner. You just want to pry up, you just pry up, pry around. When you get near the lens, that's rubbery, so it kind of sticks. So you just want to, oh, that was easier than it was the first time. Um, but it's kind of rubbery and sticks. Also, if you have focus problems, this part has a little bit of glue. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's glue down there. If you don't have that glue, this will come loose and twist and you won't be able to focus. If you do have that glue, you can use, uh, I want to say it's acetone, and just wipe over it. The glue will dissolve, and you can twist it and then re-glue it uh, to make sure you find focus. There are four screws inside here. One, two, three, four. That's it. And there's an LCD on the back that you have to pull off and um, disconnect. There's a screen, so don't damage it. Um, I actually left the protector on it because I don't watch that screen very much. up. Um, uh, there are two little levers here. You just push these back. Please make sure you push these back. You can pull this out, but you'll rip the cable out sometimes. So push back. Uh, should slide out effortless, effortlessly. And set that aside. Get some napkins. All right, see on the back? Easy. On the front, four screws. Time. And you just pull it out the front. Just pull it out. Um, I always try to leave the lens alone. Um, but it just comes right out. Now one thing I've noticed with Chinese parts I've gotten lately. And you'll see it here. One thing I've noticed. Um, they leave screws out all the time. So there's a little standoff here right here that should be screwed into the board but it's not so it leaves it floppy it's very annoying but anyway if you ever wonder why your sound is uh, your recording is awful do you see that microphone can you see that microphone that is the tiniest tiniest microphone I've ever seen in my life um, it is it is atrocious so anyway we're going to be removing that and we're going to be putting in some wires to run this, uh, run a new microphone. And that's it. Actually.
Success. Got it out. The world's worst microphone ever. Now all we have to do is uh, put the new wires in. Just so you know, positives on the inside, negatives on the outside. All right, so we're just pretending here. Got some pretend on it. Uh, in my case, I already soldered these two, but it's um, my white is actually negative and my black is positive. Uh, I know that's not the correct way, but that's all right. I'm going to try here. Have to get some helping, helping putty here. Give it a little tug test. We're good to go. All right, so we've tucked our microphone away. Um, I'm not drilling a hole for it to reach the outside world yet. I just want to uh, actually just get this together and make sure it works and make sure it's good, but I believe we could. I believe we're good. But yeah, if you're wondering why, <laughs> do you see how small this thing is? Uh, this is like the smallest, uh, it is, how small is this? All right. It is just larger than the feed hole for <laughs> your solder. <laughs> uh, that's, that's small. Alright, uh, pretty simple. Four screws, go back in, turning around. LCD goes back in. Make sure you pop your little connector out. I always like to grab a small screwdriver to help out. And then pop this on. On. I can't say on. On. However you say that word. Just push in. It has a little lip that, oh, that's what's wrong. It has a lip you gotta, you gotta fit exactly between the lip, but no harm, no foul. We're good. Um, push the front on. Make sure this lines up. What am I looking at here? All right. Lines up, rubber down. Push in, push in, push in. Push, there we go. All good. Clicked in place. All good. Battery going in. And lid. And power. Light. LCD. In case you ever wondered, that is an A flat minor. Just if you wondered.
this is recorded with these on an Eakin with the inboard sound based on a microphone that I just installed and um, yeah I'm hoping it's good I think it will be um, we're gonna find out and if it's not then well oh well it happens but anyway stay freaking awesome